still listen to Dave Brubeck. This album is so fucking good. I don't care how much you want to name say. This album is just incredible. Like I've said before, I really pity people that can't enjoy jazz, which is most people. I don't think it's an acquired taste though. I think you either love it or you or you don't. You just don't understand it, you know. I feel the same way about metal. I think that metal is good. I don't enjoy it at all, mainly because I don't like the kind of stuff. Every once in a while though, like, I need some of that. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't have to shoot these videos if I just listened to the metal. Maybe I wouldn't, I wouldn't be so bitter if I could have another way to unleash that. Maybe I should have just been listening to metal my entire life. videos yesterday they were pretty good they were so good they were just epic <laughs> don't you love it when people use that word over and over and over again to describe pretty uh trivial things me playing music on my car is pretty trivial to somebody that's never seen that before, it would be epic. But to me, eh, it's an everyday circumstance. It just depends on what I'm singing about. It makes it good. Because, you know, I've been doing that for so long now. It feels like I've been doing it for like 20 years, but I've been doing it since like 2017. <laughs> like one day on my way to work, I was working at Wendy's at the time, up the street from my house. And I just decided to bring my keyboard I was like, maybe you should play that. The one that's got Tupac on it. <laughs> Memories. <laughs> Frank knows. Frank watches this, he'll fucking know exactly what I'm talking about. See, I still keep tabs on my old uh, YouTube channels. The ones that I feature. And it's interesting. Like, I can't believe that I held so many opinions that I held back then. But that's okay. I'm still just as offensive as I was then. Actually, I, I would say I'm more offensive because I went to the right. But if you're a conservative person watching one of my old channels and you hear some of the stuff I have to say about abortion, I'm sure they would offend you. Um, the cool thing about me though, you know, I have a pretty well-rounded view of abortion considering, you know, my adoption and the fact that I have a uterus and I used to be a liberal. I have a lot of friends that have had abortions, so it's like I have a pretty multifaceted 
way of looking at it and talking about it. If people spent more time talking about things and they, they looked at all angles of something, they could come up with better solutions than the ones that we have now. But they won't do that because they're too close-minded. If you want abortion to stop, that's the most logical thing to do. You gotta talk to women that have had abortions. You gotta talk to people that are totally in favor of it. You gotta talk to abused kids. You gotta talk to single moms. There's all kinds of shit that people should do but they won't do because that would require effort and that would require them having to open their mind and uh, set aside judgment. But they won't do that because they just don't. I don't think that people have the capacity to do that. I don't think that we're emotionally mature enough to do that. I'm a special case. If you're watching this channel, you're a special case. Congratulations. Pat yourself on the back for being a special case. Two pats. Two pats. <laughs> Most people do not have emotional maturity.